this is Excalibur, and welcome back to Pool of Radiance. Yeah, last time we died, so we're going to go ahead and load our B game, because that's where we've been saving our good saves. And we're going to see where we are. Um, it's been a few... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have some issues here. Let's... let's. Oops. Let's turn around and go back in. Bash. Okay. So let's go ahead and view our spell lists. She is asleep. All right. Exit. And that's Fred. We have to make sure that his spells are up. Yep. Exit. And finally, Soltek. Uh, spells. Sleep. Okay. Exit. Exit. And let's get out of area mode. We just took out these guys here. And I think right in here. We can search anything? No. All right, so I'm going to pause for a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and let's go ahead and keep on uh, looking around. We are in that shop right here. I think this is where we found the um, fortune teller. Now, there's some really tough fights that we have to get through in order to completely clear this. And we died down here, I think it was. So we'll go through here. Um, we have to go south, like so, and go all the way to the south again. And we're going to uh, go ahead and and camp, save, B, no, and exit. So we are going to go to this door here and see. Exit and pick. You have alerted the guards. So this is where we died last time. We had a bunch of goblins that just went absolutely nuts. Dilly, um, you're going to go up like this. And oh, yeah, there's a lot of goblins. Uh, okay, cast sleep manual we have to shut down those archers and that's probably the best spot there we got six archers and she's going to do um, uh, cast sleep as well we have to do this and manual let's see where we can put this um, so these guys have longbows, nothing yet, longbow, longbow. Helpless, 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 not helpless, and helpless, helpless, helpless. We're going to go ahead and center it. If we do it there, we have a chance of getting our own guy grimly. So we're going to make sure that these guys are out of the equation. It's too far away. Manual. So we're going to do it here. If we do it here, that might actually be better. Okay, so he's going to be taking stuff out, and we're going to be dying, it looks like. So Fred has two hit points left. Why can't I use... Ah, I've been damaged, so I can't cast. As long as we hear that tick tick, we're good. Uh, we're, um, when it's against us anyway. So Dilly's going to go up and make sure that those guys are dead. As uh, and Soltek is going going to um, do that as well. Uh, enter. Let's aim. Exit. We have to use. Make sure we have darts. We have no darts. So let's ready that. 
exit and then aim manual here. Fred now can cast Cure Light Wounds on and Aramella's got to do her thing. And this is the issue we're going to have. Target. Okay, Grimly. We need to move through and take these guys out as quickly as we can. Yep, this is going to be the issue. We're probably going to have to reload our save game and try this again. I'm getting tired of missing. Alright, let's get up and take these guys out while we can. going to make it. And of course the warrior runs. Up. Oh. And yeah, we're going to have to load. Alright, we'll play it out. Oh, got a double hit. All right, and then everybody wakes up. Take him out, take him out. Kill him, kill him. I want to see him go away. This is a really tough fight. We might have to go to a different one. <laughs> They're all gonna try and take him out. Those longbows are really something. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> that warrior's not gonna get away. Okay, let's see if we can get back in there and do that. Let's load up game B. Um, that goblin fight is really, really tough. So... That's down there. That's the goblin fight. Um, let's go around the bend and see what's up in this room here. Let's just bash. We have some orcs. Guards run to intercept you. So now we have orc fights. And this... Let's see here. Let's turn that off and ready that. Exit. A manual. Actually, exit. We're going to uh, delay. She's going to cast sleep and she's going to do it right here. We got nine of them. He's going to cast sleep. Manual. And these guys are all helpless. Look at all those orcs. And we have archers, so we're going to put it right there. Alright, so we can't put it right there. Help us starts there. That's still too far. Manual. Helpless. Alright, so we're going to aim manual here. The warrior's going to do a lot of stuff. And we're just going to go through the ranks of the helpless.
hopefully we can get through this fight. They're all going to guard and then try and move. There we go. They're really good with those bows, so we're going to need to take care of that. Okay, so he can't do anything, and she's just going to move straight up. We need to get bows out. All right. And let's see here. What can he use? Let's turn off that and the shield and ready the shortbow plus one. Exit, aim, manual the shortbow. We're going to go ahead and take out these archers. Is there a ranged death? We don't want that to happen. All right, so use manual. Nope, we don't want to use exit. We want to aim manual and not at a helpless person because well this the front rank of helpless is fine we need to get them out while they're helpless all right and done guard um this is a problem i don't know how to move diagonally in the game so let's see what fred can use he can't use much of anything so he's gonna exit. He's going to. He can't cast because he was just hit. Um, done. Delay. She's gonna move up. And she's done. Aim manual. Help us. Okay. Exit. Um, exit. Use. We are going to. Turn off her short sword, turn on her short bow, exit, aim manual. And hopefully her high decks will help kill off these orcs back here. Exit, use. We have the arrows, we have a short bow plus one. Aim manual. She's not firing. Maybe she can't use it. Alright, so let's turn off the short bow. I have to look into that and see what's going on. Exit. Move. There we go. Grimly. He's a short bow plus one. We're going to move him right here. And we're going to exit and we're gonna aim manual. It could be that we're loaded down with equipment that we can't do it. Use. Ready, ready, ready. Exit. Move up. There we go. Alright, so let's use. And we're going to get this going too. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Exit. Aim. Manual. Get rid of those bows. And I miss. So, cast. Move. Done. Guard. Fred. Cast. Cure Light Wounds. Dilly, move. Aim, manual. See if we can get up here. Nope. Could be that we're moving. Helpless and helpless. All right. Yeah, it's out of range. Okay, gonna heal myself. Target. use. Let's see if we can do it. We're not going to move this time. We're just going to go straight to short bow. 
All right, exit, aim, manual. There we go, Don guard. Use, ready, ready, ready. Exit, aim, manual. We need to get rid of those archers as quickly as we can. There we go. Before everybody starts waking up, we don't want to be surrounded by these guys. A manual. Archer 2, come here. Okay, they're starting to wake up. A manual. Helpless, helpless, helpless. Those guys, he's not helpless. But he's out of range. We can't take him out. There we go. Archers are gone. Manual. Done guard. A manual. Let's find the first non helpless. So these guys are helpless. He's not. He's not. Uh, cast. Cure Light Wounds. Helpless, 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 not. Uh, Cure Light Wounds. Manual. She's fine. He's down. He's down. I'm down. I'm pretty hungry here. Hopefully we can get these orcs to... Oh, man. What the hoo-ha? Use. Let's uh, turn off the bow and turn on the sword. Exit. Aim manual here. Done guard. Yeah, they're waking up. Darn it. Aim manual. Yep, they're all awake. So let's take out the ones that are closest to us. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fred. Uh, let's see here. Cast. Cure Light Wounds. The last cure. On her, we'll see if we can keep her awake. Normally I'd put the really nicely armored guys up front and then pelt with archers in the back. Fred, a manual here. manual here. Miss. That's the things that I hate. She's going down, I think. Aim manual here. There we go. Aim manual here. Um, use. We're going to uh, get rid of the bow and bring the shield and battle axe on. Exit. Um, move up. And a miss. What the who? As long as we're hearing those ticks against us, um, we're doing okay. So let's turn off the bow and turn on the shield and longsword and move. Done a manual. They're giving up. Yeah. Done. Guard. A manual. Done guard. A manual. Take him out, Grimly. Yeah. Move. I said move. Must have hit end. Excellent. 
Take him out. Ah. They all took off. But we survived. Yes. 84 experience points. That's fine. We take a lot of stuff. So. And we survived everything. So let's take the money and see what we get. A lot of silver. A lot of electrum. And let's see what type of items we have. Battle axe, chain mail, two long bows, chain mail, and battle axe. So take it until I can't take any more. Grimly take them. It's overloaded. Fred, take them. Overloaded. Dilly, take them. There we go. And. We are done. We're going to exit. We're going to encamp and save C. Nope. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and um, do our magic. So make sure that Aramilla is memorized. Sleep. Exit. Exit. Yes. Fred is going to memorize. Um, the cure light wounds one two three exit exit yes and soul tech is going to memorize um, sleep uh, exit exit yes now we're gonna try and rest rest we got all our spells memorized excellent now rest and we're gonna go in days with uh, two days And rest. Whole party is healed and healed. Okay. We can try days one more time. Two days. Healed. Healed. And Grimly is close. He's going to have eight. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to save B. And no, we're not going to exit to DOS. Exit. We're going to see what's up here. So let's turn on search. And probably going to run into some heavy resistance in here. Make sure Aramella is selected. Alright. You intrude on a gathering of monster leaders. Well, we've got the save. We'll see what's going on. Battle begins. We have an ogre and two lizard men. So, he's going to done delay. Um... He's going to aim manual and hit the oh knolls, but they have 10 hit points. I'm going to hit the ogre. Manual. So, no. Fred. Straight up against him. Aramella is going to move and then cast sleep. Can she do it? Manual. We want to cast it in this block here. Ooh, I didn't see that dude back there. Um, Alright, so longsword. We're going to move and get right up next to that ogre. And cast sleep. Manual. We have an ogre and we have a hobgoblin leader. All right, use. We're going to turn off the short sword, turn on the short bow. A manual here. The ogre is going to be hard. Use, uh, use. We're going to turn off. Our darts turn on our short sword. Ooh, can we turn on the battle axe? No. Short sword it is. Exit. Aim. Manual. Ugh. Who went down? Okay. Done. Guard. He did what he could. Grimly. Move. Done. Guard. Um... Let's 
exit that. Let's aim. Man, you'll see how many hit points. 16, and the hobgoblin is. Ooh boy. Aim manual. Turn him. Let's, let's kill him. Done, guard. Guard, come on. Aim manual. Alright, we did it. We did it. We killed the, the leaders. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. No. 58 experience points. So hopefully Fred is not totally dead. All right. So Dilly's going to take uh, the money. Why not? Copper. Electrum. Gold. And take the items. A longbow, ten arrows, and yeah. Exit. Search. Alright, rest. In camp. We're going to uh, get Aramella. Um, no, exit. Memorize. Sleep. Exit. Exit. Yes. And Soul Tech. Memorize. Sleep. Exit. Exit. Yes. And we're going to rest. Well, let's go ahead and uh, first save at C. No. And now we're going to go ahead and rest. Make sure we can rest here. All right. Now rest. And we're going to say days. We're going to increment to two days. There, that's what we want. And then go up to Fred, Magic, Cast. Cure Light Wounds on Fred. Cure Light Wounds on the Warrior. And exit, Memorize, to Cure Light Wounds. Just like this one, two, exit, exit, yes. We are up to full. Exit. Save. B. No, we're not going to quit to DOS. You're going to. We're going to go back. We have cleared this part. We have to go back and clear out um, our wonderful uh, goblin leaders and goblin area. So, go through this door. I think we go straight. Um, and then we go up through the wooden area here. I think these are the stables. Bash it. Go through here. Then up here. Turn right. Go through. And we go straight down. Yep, yeah, here we go. Now we have to go down through this archway. Up and around. And back to the civilized area. Wow. Okay, proclamations are posted. The proclamations are those. And how about I go ahead and get that journal? Uh, file, we're going to open. Where is the adventurous journal? And where are the proclamations? Let's make sure I can read what's going on. And zoom 100%. I'll zoom in actually. There. All right. File. Home. Make sure it's in hand mode. And we're going to find those proclamations. It's bestiary. We have proclamation LXIV. Be it known that the Council is interested in acquiring information as to the disposition of various formerly living entities rumored to be harassing honest citizens in the vicinity of Valhingian Graveyard. Reward is offered to any person who shall travel to said graveyard and return an eyewitness account. We have LXXVIII. Be it known that the council is offering a reward to any person or persons who can provide information as to the disposition of several council agents who have been seen to investigate the unseemly happiness, happenings in the vicinity of Valhinchin Graveyard. 
Okay, then CIX. Be it known that the council is offering an indictment to any individual who shall serve in the rescue force for the mercenary band of um, Timog the Invincible, which has disappeared inside Valhengen Graveyard. And LIX. Lix! Hee hee hee. LIX? Yeah. Be it known that the council is interested in reclaiming the re remaining blocks of the city of New Flan. To reclaim said blocks, they must first be cleared of monsters, vermin, and other uncivilized inhabitants. To this end, the council's offering is a reward to any person or group who is responsible for clearing any block of the old city. We're currently in the process of doing that for the slums, so uh, we will get to that um, presently. Yeah. So let's go into the store. Arms and armor? Yes. So we're going to view items for our next calibar. And that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. The arrows are mine, but we're going to get rid of the battle axe. Let's sell that. And hit yes. Chainmail, yes. Longbow. Yeah, we've got shortbow plus one. All right, that's what we want to do. And we're going to go to Aramella. View items. This is the the part that we want to go through. So this is fine. She doesn't have anything. Uh, let's uh, view Grimly. Oh yeah, that's a lot. So he's got his battle axe, his band mail, his shield, his arrows, and his short bow. The rest are going to go. So S. No. No, 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 no. That is magical. Let's sell this. Yes. Uh, longbow sell yes broadsword sell no that's another magical sword sell the chainmail yes sell the longbow yes sell this longbow yes exit so we're gonna have to get those identified we need to go to a temple to do that Fred um, let's see here well let's see here grimly appraise uh, exit Fred view items we have a mace abandoned mail shield a wooden holy symbol of tear chain mail sell yeah I'll sell the chain mail broadsword sell no might be broadsword plus ones sell yes chain mail sell no that's magical flail sell no we are not going to sell that that is also magical okay dilly view Items. <coughs> Excuse me. Chainmail. Sell. Yes. Battle axe. Sell. Yeah. Longbow. Sell. Yeah. Ten arrows. We're going to keep that. Long. Well, we'll trade the ten arrows to Excalibur. And sell that longsword. Yeah. Exit. Exit. And finally, Soltec view items he has nothing exit he needs to get darts exit so he's going to buy as many darts as I can find one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen he says it's overloaded okay so let's view his items and we're gonna join this and it may be that he is way too much his status is okay all right warrior view items he's got banded mail a silver battle axe we can't sell it because it's all his longbow shield um, he's got one silver so uh, one of those is probably a, a magical thing so let's go back up to Excalibur and we're gonna praise the one gem <coughs> excuse me this the gem is valued at 500 gold uh, let's sell it um, and the jewelry 
13. Let's sell it. Aramella. Uh, appraise. Gem. Sell. Gem. Uh, jewelry. Sell. Okay. Grimly. Let's uh, appraise as well. At 10. Let's sell it. Um, <clears throat> let's appraise the gem. Sell it. Appraise the gem. Sell it. Appraise the gem. Sell it. Appraise. He can't do it. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and see how much we have here. Um, a lot of platinum. So that's 4,000 platinum, I think. Because it's 10 gold per platinum. She's got 2,000. We might have enough to go and um, level up our experience. Yeah, let's go level up. So, go up through here. There we go. I knew I'd find the way. It just takes a second for me to do it. So join the clerics here. Do you want to train? Um, where is Fred? Yes. So Fred, he is going to train up. You need a thousand. Well, let's not exit. Save current. Remove. Add. Train. Modify. Drop character. So let's begin adventuring. Let's view Fred. He didn't have enough. So let's exit and view Excalibur. We're going to trade 100 platinum to Fred. How much? 100. There we go. And then we'll exit. I think that should do it. And view. Exit. Now uh, we have to leave and then go back in yeah 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 um, Fred yes train character cost 1,000 gold pieces hmm so let's just no 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 no, no. begin adventuring let's go to the fighters because I know I've got a lot of stuff there Fighters. Do you want to train? Yes. And Excalibur is going to train. Become a level 2 fighter. Uh, no. So let's view him real quick. He has 326 platinum and 8 gold. Alright. So exit. Begin adventuring. Uh, let's leave and come back. And... Uh, Go back up to Excalibur and train him. Yes. So now he's got 16 um, XP. Let's view him. He lost 200, so it's 5 gold. And I want to train up um, as many people as I can. So let's exit, view, and we're going to train her up too. Because, no, she can't. She actually doesn't have enough to, to train. Not even for a thief. Uh, let's view Grimly. He can. So let's go ahead and trade um, all the gold we can. View, trade to Grimly. A lot of the platinum. Uh, one, 100. 100. And we're going to exit. But first, we're going to take a look at Soltek. How much experience does he have? Not enough. That's Aramella. View Soltek. Uh, exit. Exit. Uh, view Soltek. Dilly can train up as a thief. The Soltek. Yeah, he needs to be trained up. So we need to get more to him. So let's view and trade. 
to Soltec um, 100 and uh, select that. We're going to give him everything, not gold. Yeah, that's fine. Um, there we go. 147 and uh, exit from that. So Fred, that's uh, exit and view Fred. I think he's ready to train up too. Yeah, he is. So Fred is ready to train up. <clears throat> so we need to get him a little bit more as well. Aramella is going to trade her platinum to Fred. And gold to Fred. There we go. Exit. And Soltec has to train up. Dilly has to train up. Let's view her. She doesn't have enough overall. So let's go ahead now begin adventuring. Unless. Yeah, we're going to train up Grimly. Yes. Grimly is not as strong as Excalibur, but he's got a good amount of stuff. Let's trade all the leftover stuff to Dilly. Platinum, da -da -da -da. gold, da -da -da -da. all right. This is uh, the thing that I really dislike about the game is that she doesn't have enough. Uh, she will. So we've got Grimly and Excalibur trained up. Aramella can't train up. Soltec can, I think. Yeah, he can. Dilly can't yet. Uh, Fred can. So we're going to get Soltec, Fred. It's Aramella that can't train up yet. She doesn't have enough experience. So begin adventuring. Let's go ahead and get Soltec and uh, Fred trained up. Yes, we're going to train up Soltec. Train. Level 2. Yes. Oh. And what are we going to learn? We're going to learn Burning Hands. <clears throat> so Soltec can now memorize twice. Um, let's view him and trade to Dilly all the platinum and all the gold. And let's get Fred trained up. Yes. Train. Train. Yes. Ah. Ah. Hit points don't go up that fast with uh, anybody but fighters in this version. So that's View Fred. And uh, we're going to go up to Aramella. Uh, no, begin adventuring. And we're going to hit yes, and we're going to take a look at Aramella. Train, train, costs a thousand gold pieces. I don't know what her... Let me take a look at the... Um, level guide. I think I still have to get up to a certain level. Those are all the spells. They don't have the level tables in here. I think that's in the base book. It's not in the adventures guide. So let me open. Oh, yeah. Dump me in documents, why don't you? Let's go down. I know exactly where they're located. So it should only take a second. Um, not there. There. And I need to find gold box, forgotten realms, and rule book. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see here characters in the party, creating character screen options, move, view, alter, combat, parlay, hitting, use old. Using, using missile weapons, beginning combat spells. I think we have to go to the end. Let me get all the way to the end and take a look. There's the race limits, um, maximum level and max class, max level by class. 
I'm looking for the class levels. Let's get a drink here. Hmm. The rule book doesn't have it. Maybe it is at the end of the at the adventures journal. Let's see. So it gives all the little tiny clues and stuff. Um, weapon list. All right, here we are. So to get to a fighter, you need 1,500 experience point. Uh, cleric level two is 1,501 experience. Fighter is 2,000. Magic user is 25, and thief is 1,200 and 50. So based on that, Aramella, she's a fighter, magic user, thief. Um, she has to train up each individual one separately. So that's uh, the crap thing about that. Fighter level, we are looking. She needs another 700. Magic user, a lot. And Thief, she needs a lot. So let's exit that. And what was it? Grimly? No. Oh, Grimly is a level 2. That's right. We got Excalibur Grimly. It's Dilly is a Thief. Fred is a Cleric. Level two already. Um, Dilly is a thief. She can go up her level. Soltek. He has gone up his level. She's gonna go up. He's at his level two. Level two. She's she's the only one that's gonna have the issues. Okay, so. And fighter. Oh my gosh, fighter. When I hit four thousand experience points. We've got 900 there. Uh, close to uh, 1500 there. Fred is at 3000 as a cleric. He could go up to level 3 here. That's... A thousand gold. So now, begin adventuring. Let's go ahead and go to the cleric. Yes, and uh, see what it says about training up Fred. Needs a thousand. So, Dilly, let's view and trade um, to Fred. Three hundred. Um, all the uh, all the platinum, and uh, we'll see what happens. Train, not enough. Okay, we need one more, one more experience point we can train up. But we need Dilly to go up a level. So let's trade all this stuff to Dilly. And exit, begin adventuring back out. And yes, Dilly, let's go ahead and train you up. Yes. And Aramela train. Needs a thousand. All right. So the next person to uh, level up is going to be um, Fred. As soon as we get another bit of experience points, we get it done. So let's begin adventuring and go get our new spells. And we can actually go out this way. The thieves' entrance. We don't want to go to the docks. We're coming down here to one of the inns. A tavern. Uh, enter. No, we're not going to gamble. We overhear Tavern Tale 21. Well, let's go to the Adventurer's Journal and see what Tavern Tale 21 is. Should be a list of them. Those are the proclamations. Tavern Tale, maybe that's in the rule book. I don't know. I don't know. It could be that the Tavern Tales are at the end of the Adventures Journal. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go to the Adventures Journal. Those are the journal entries. 
Tavern Tales, we Tavern Tale 21. <clears throat> Tale 21. The monsters in Flan, led by one of the generals who sacked the city a generation ago. The general has used great magic to make himself immortal. It's possible. That's a tavern. There should be an inn somewhere right around here. A tavern? Okay, no. Tavern Tale 7. Great treasures are to be found on the banks of the Barren River as one benches northward. We'll be getting out to the wilderness soon enough. Ah, here we go. One platinum piece to rest here. Yes. Dilly will do it. Alright, so. Soltek gets to memorize. He gets another magic user spell. Guess what he's going to do? Sleep. Exit. Exit. Yes. And then Fred gets to memorize three more spells. So we're going to do Cure Light Wounds all over the place. We'll detect magic first. And then Cure Light Wounds. And then exit. Alright. Yes. Make sure Aramella can memorize. Oh, she's got her sleep. Alright, so let's go ahead and rest. And rest. And we're going to have Fred cast Detect Magic. Exit. View. View his items. And we'll see what is magical. You can see short sword, uh, the short bow and the arrows are, are fine. And exit. View items. Her ring and her short bow. So exit. Exit. View items. Yep, short bow plus one and then two broadswords. So we're, we've got to get those two uh, figured out what they are. Exit. Exit. View items. And we have a broadsword and two, a chainmail and a flail. I want to get the chainmail figured out. Um, let's take a look at the armor really quick. Since we are here. Let's close that. That's uh, rule book armor table, I think, is right here. No, it's not. It's in the uh, adventures journal at the end. So, um, and that's just weapons. It's not telling the armor. Erg. armor list. Here we go. Um, we are currently wearing banded mail and that gives an armor class of 4. Chain mail gives an armor class of 5. But if that's magical then uh, we can skip past any issues with uh, spells and stuff like that. Um, and currently using a mace. Let's go to the weapons table. Uh, mace can be used by fighter and cleric and a flail can be used by fighter and cleric. So damage versus man size is 2 to 7 with a flail. Larger than man size is 2 to 8. With a mace, 2 to 7 and 1 to 6. So um, Fred, once we get that flail identified, we're going to go ahead and um, make sure that we get that uh, examined. So Dilly items, nothing magical. Soltech items. Has the braces of armor class six, which uh, puts his armor class at three due to dexterity and all that other fun stuff. Exit. Our armor classes are looking pretty good. Um, Dilly and Aramella are the ones with the worst armor classes, and I think Excalibur has banded mail. All right, so let's go ahead and exit and head to the store, which is closed. No. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and make sure that Dilly's selected. And we're going to rest hours and make it like eight. And rest. There we go. Exit. Because that should be more than enough to make it daytime soon. Yeah. 
Come on, Dilly. We're going to rest for another uh, hours, say four. X rest hours one two three four rest there we go exit now be daylight there we go arms and armor yes I'm gonna go down to I think view items no view items no I forget exactly what they are let's see here this ID cost 200 gold pieces yes not enough gold so exit exit we're going to pool and he's gonna take oh we don't have enough to do any identification because we did a lot of stuff so take everything here Excalibur and we're gonna exit we're done so we got that um, the goblin not the goblins the orcs and the orc leaders we, we face an ogre and one and as a result everybody but Aramella is level two now and you can see the hit points went up uh, Soltek he has a d4 so he gets at most four <laughs> so he's at five um, Excalibur and Grimly are the best suited for frontlining and then we've got Fred, who's um, Fred and Dilly are pretty even. Aramel is still level one. So we have to wait until we get a lot of XP for Aramella. Mm, excuse me, stretch. And we'll take care of that next time. This has been an extra long episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Pool of Radiance. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me a lot, and it helps me more if you visit patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone and become a patron. As always, it's Excalibur, and I am out.